Hey guys, welcome back to Card Snail, the greatest card channel on YouTube. And today we are taking a look at the Sun and Moon Ultra Prism set. So I have one of each of the pack arts of this set. This is a 2017, 2018 release. Um, so let's just take a quick look at each one of the pack arts. Now these are the three card mini packs. So these were sold in dollar stores, retail counters. These were an item that's pretty cheap. Uh, originally you could buy them for about a buck fifty, two dollars Canadian, uh, a buck USA. And right now they run you about two, three dollars a piece. I think I paid 15 for this at auction. So I bought this set specifically just to open, just to showcase what you can get in these three card packs. And just to see what we can pull in the Ultra Prism set. So let's get started. Let's not waste any time. First pack of the three card mini packs is going to be impossible to open. All logic has just gone out the window, guys. I don't know what just happened there. Just rip it open like a bunch of animals. All right. So, first we got Young Goose. All right, we got a, a holographic rare. So these haven't been weighted, thank goodness. Sometimes they've been weighed. These, you can weigh these packs. I'd just like to point that out. These packs can be weighed. So this is a Rampardos, Rampardos, 65 out of 156, holographic rare. Super nice card. And a Tortinator, nice card as well, uncommon. And these ones do not have the code card. So just let me sleeve this up real quick. Boop, Rampardos. And it should be near mint. Yeah, near mint. The packs had no damage to them. Fantastic. So that is pack one. Set that over there. And on to the second pack. So guys, if you're collecting the Ultra Prism set, do you guys have any favorite cards? Let me know in the comments. I am not. This is not a card set I tried to chase. I kind of missed it. By the time I was able to get a bunch of packs, they had already kind of increased the price. And if you watch the channel, you know my motto is to buy low, buy slow and sell high which I'm trying to say buy low and sell high, but also slow to remind myself not to just spend my entire pay all at once because I am notorious for that. So Shinx, Dupiter, and Cosmium. That's a nice card. I like that Cosmium. Okay, so that is pack two. No big hits in pack two. Third pack, three out of four. Third time's the charm, hopefully, they say, right? Starting with a Drifloon. Yanma. And Magneton. Magneton with an uncommon. Wish it was a rare, but it's not. Not in this set. All right. Guys, last pack. We got one holographic rare, but I, I'm still considering this being kind of skunked. I mean, although the pack, like I said, these are cheap packs. Original... Originally, they're, they're only a couple bucks. So really what it is is four of these packs equates to one regular pack. And which means that really with 12 cards, we should only have one hollow rare. So it's not like out of control that we didn't. Roselia and an energy card. So Gibble, Roselia, and an energy card. Wow, guys. So we didn't get that big of pulls. Our biggest pull was a Rampardos, Rampardos uh, holographic rare. Super nice card, though. Worth a few bucks. Easy sell. So that's, that's super nice. And guys, if you want to check out the pack list, pictures of packs, pictures of boxes, um, the set list for this, the Pokemon Ultra Prism set, check the link in the description of this video for a link to the Card Snail blog where I have post information about the card sets. It's the last to be updated though, so if it's not there, just wait, it will be. And if you guys want to buy these cards, packs, boxes, or tons of other stuff relating to collectibles, check the link in the description for the Card Snail eBay store. Guys, thank you for your time. I appreciate you so much. If you want to smash that like and subscribe button, it would really help the channel. Otherwise, until I see you next time, have the best days.